Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm nervous to say this, but I just bought a new car. Uh, it was like crazy and weird. Um, I haven't bought a new car in a very long time. And it's not like brand new, but it's like new to me. And it's beautiful, and I'll show you. Um, they brought it to my house in order for me to test drive it. And I just signed a bunch of paperwork in a van. It was really weird, but it was also good. Like, I didn't have to go somewhere to do it. It came to my house, and I'm so scared because it's so much money. But I really needed a new car, and I've been waiting literally eight months with no car in order to get this car. So I'm really excited. I have to show you guys. I have to show you. Ah, it's weird because I'm doing this by myself, which is also like strange. Like I've never done anything like this by myself and here I am like doing it. It's so weird, but let me show you. Oh my gosh, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> it's a Mini Cooper, guys. It's a Mini Cooper hardtop 2016 and it's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Look at the inside. It's dark because they just came to my house at six o'clock at night. And it's mine. It's like a light gray. I'll show you guys in the daytime. But, oh my gosh, it just happened. Like this, like this just happened. I just bought a car. Like I've never done this. It's crazy. I am like really nervous, but like also excited. I'm a little afraid of like buyer's remorse. I don't think I will have that. I think I will love it. And I think I will love it for a long time, but like I'm just a little afraid of it. Like, cause I just don't ever do this and I don't know what I'm doing, but I own it. Like the keys are mine. Like I just paid my down payment and like it's mine. <laughs> I have a car and I'm freaking out. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I gotta figure out how to, like, I need, like, a car mount so I can do car vlogs again. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. But I don't have one. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm in my car right now. I know you can't really see me that well, but I am in my car. I don't know if that doesn't work. Don't do that. I can't even like I used to put my thing right here, but I can't even do that. I need like a special one for like right here or something. Um, I decided to drive my car. My new car, oh my god! Lights? Do those help with anything? Not really. Um, I decided to drive my new car to go see my parents, so I did that and. Cause I just wanted to show them because oh my gosh it's crazy and I own a new car and then um, I was like you know I need dinner and nothing up in New Kaipa sounded good and I was like I want Chick-fil-a and I want to drive my car to Chick-fil-a which is kind of a ways away I mean not really but it's for my house it's like on in Redlands instead of by my house so I drove down, I drove on the freeway, and now I'm waiting in line, like I'm using the car, like it's my car, because it is, and it's so weird, and I love it, and so I just wanted to give you an update. Um, tomorrow, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the people come and take away my old car. And I'm so happy. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, bye, old car, I'll miss you. I mean, like, my car is good to me and stuff, but, like, bye, you can go now. I know I'm not going to miss it. It's been sitting in my driveway for eight months now, not being used, not being helpful. It was um, really hard to, like, find someone to take it from me. It shouldn't have been as hard as I made it. I think I should have called this place that's going to take it. I should have called them a while ago, but I thought I want, I thought I could get more money for it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I like, don't know what things do in here. Oh, the light. Is that better? Two lights. Anyway, um, so they're going to come tomorrow and, um, 
take my car away from me and I'll be so happy. They're gonna pick it up. They're gonna pay me a check and it's gonna be wonderful that it's gone. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get to drive this car now. Okay, don't run into my car. Now I'm gonna be all nervous that people are gonna like touch my car. Don't touch my car. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna drive my car around, and I'll drive it tomorrow, I think, and I'll try to vlog so you can see it in the daytime and you can see people seeing it and all that, but ah, this car, I'm freaking out. <sighs> like, I'm freaking out. Like, I'm freaking out. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, It'll be good. Like, I was just listening to worship music, and I'm just like, like, God provided this. I know it sounds cheesy, guys. I know that it's, like, things Christians say, but, like, he did. He so provided this. Like, I had, eight months ago, I was like, how in the world am I going to get a new car? I don't have hardly any work. I never have money. I, you know, all this stuff. And, like, God provided this year. And there's absolutely no reason I should have a car this year because people, I couldn't, I didn't work for ages. Um, I mean, I did, but I didn't do my job for such a long time. And, like, it still was able to get this car and, like, pay quite a bit of it. And, like, I, I now I have work and I have more work than I've had in a really long time. Like, not just editing, like, other work, too. And, like, it's a little bit stressful, but, like, at the same time, it's, like, God provided these things. Like, he did. He so did. And, like, here it is. Like, I have the ability to drive a car around and feel safe in it and, like, have the car that I've wanted for years and years and years. And it's kind of, like... He just, he, God provided it, but he could have provided me with any car. And, um, and I, and I hope that I would have been just as grateful as having this car because, um, he would have provided it. And, but I actually have the opportunity to have this car that I've wanted for a really long time. So it's crazy and I'm excited. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'll go drive around and show you and like show other people and I'm so excited. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna show the kids and I'm gonna show Julie and Jeff and probably Jenna. Well, hopefully tomorrow because I have to wait for my car to be picked up tomorrow. So hopefully I can go show them. But yay, I'm so excited and oh my gosh. Ah, I want a car. <laughs> so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to um, remember to film this because um, this is going to be the last day that I have my old yellow Protégé 5. Um, and honestly, last night I was thinking about it, I'm like, I'm not even sentimental about the car because it's just been sitting here and I've been worrying about it for eight months. So I don't really have this like sentimental feeling towards it it was a good car but I had a lot of problems and it cost me money that I didn't have and just those things um it was something that I would never felt that safe in something I never really wanted to drive that far like those kinds of things and so although I liked the car for a long time I also struggled with it and had problems with it so it's not something that I feel that sentimental to it but I thought just for myself I would film today and not film like a lot just like I would remember the car and I would um take some video of it and probably take some video of them taking it away so hopefully I remember because I'm really terrible at remembering those things but um I'll try to like take some video of they're gonna come pick it up between 11 and 2 I don't know when exactly during that time but um, and they're going to take it away. I was able to sell it to a pickup part. It's actually called Pick Your Part um, in San Bernardino. And it was like the super easiest process ever. Like I just called and the girl I like got my information about the car, about me. Um, and then she was like, okay, we'll give you this much if you if we come take it from you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it was so easy, so. I'm really glad about that and hopefully the process will be easy of them taking it away. The car's been like down here in 
my driveway and I had to like get it up the hill because we have our crazy hill here so like yesterday no the day before Sunday I um, we had to like charge the car charge the battery so that we could turn it on so that I could drive it up the like hundred feet I don't even know I'm not good with space like distance but uh to the top of the hill so that's what we did here maybe I can show you there my car was like over there so we had to I had to like we had to push the car to here then we charged the battery and then I brought it up the hill and now uh, I think you can see it's up there so they're gonna come take that away from me today so I thought you know Terry you should really film it because I don't know it's something to remember you had that I had that car for a really long time like 10 years I don't even know how long did I live two three yeah at least 10 years I think I was longer than that wow time flies anyway uh so I should at least document it and remember the car um so that's what i'm gonna do today but also today once we are done with that which is a good thing that's happening today because it's forcing me to stay home i actually have a lot of stuff i have to get done but i like all i want to do is drive my car so <laughs> i'm like forced to stay home and like i get this stuff done and wait for these people to pick up my car and then um i'm gonna take my car out today and show a couple friends and um probably go to the grocery store because I really have to go to the grocery store and I can because I have a car so uh, we're gonna do that today so you can come along with me okay guys they're gonna be here any minute to pick up my old car so one last look at her she's a bit dirty but she did her job for a long time. <laughs> she got her dent. The bumblebee is gone. you I'm really not but I'm thankful for you and our stickers look at that beauty she cute <laughs> she's so tiny like being inside the car mm -mm, does not feel like you're driving something that small that is so cute. She's so cute. I love her. I don't know what to name her to figure it out. But it's definitely a she because she's adorable. Oh, the tree's in the way. She's adorable. So she's definitely a she. But I don't know what to name her. I gotta think about that one. If you got any suggestions, let me know. Bye, car. We'll see you. Well, we won't see you. You're gonna become lots of little pieces now. <laughs> it's gone! Okay, well that took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but the car is gone. And now I'm in my new car. And it's daylight, you can see the car. It's beautiful. I love it. And we're gonna go drive it in the daylight for the first time. I'm very excited. And I think I'm gonna go see my sister first and show the kids. And then we'll see what time it is because I wanted to go show Jenna before she gets off or when she gets off work. And then from there, I don't know. I had to go to the store. Maybe go see Jeffrey. I don't know. Um, so. Here we go, we're gonna drive it again. It's so exciting, like this is my car, what, huh, what? <laughs> Julie's gonna drive it. <laughs> the professional driver. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Well, you're going to take your video of you driving it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Let's go zip around the. Okay, we're in sports still. Actually, let's do. Oh, well, it is still, yeah. Or maybe yeah, it's telling it. you shift. It's so cute. Manual. <laughs> no, I don't really. I like small cars, so. It doesn't frighten me. And I'm not, I don't like, I don't like swerving out of traffic or anything. <laughs> so. Oh. Driving the car. <laughs> Forgot cheese, so now I have to go get it. How is it? It feels nice. We're playing a new game. Well, it's not new, but it's new to us. I don't know what it's called, but it says Super Winner on this thing. And she's gonna beat me because she just really, like, beat me really badly just now. So it yeah. happen again. So the goal of the game is to line up your pup thingies however you want. I like lining them up to the side. It's sort of hard to focus on how And then you just have to try and get all five of your pups onto the other side by <laughs> flinging it like that. <laughs> Hope that it doesn't come back at you. Ready? Oh, you're supposed to shake hands. Oh, yeah? Okay. I've been to. I'm getting better. Uh huh. Come on, Tia. Tia, 
What does it say on there? It's a white chocolate one. No, it's hard to cookies do. and cream. It's on, ready. It's already going. You just drop it in. It needs to be fine. What if it crashed? No, you drop it in slightly. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. It'll be fine. Just drop Don't worry. it in. There. It's cute in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, send the link. Tell me when. I'm ready. Yeah. And then probably stop right there because that's a lot of milk. We should have no, done it already. Oh. You know, Is it hot it enough? It takes a little you bit. It's not that hot. No. Why it's it's got to be like steaming. Is it milk or frothy? It's going. It's going. Is it opening? It's too much. You don't want to do too much milk. No, it's not. Oh, there, there it goes. goes. Now get a spoon. Hold on, wait. Oh, it, it doesn't like usually rolling. do that. No. Oh, there it goes. It's rolling. I think it will kind of do that. I'm melting. Mm. There's the oh, marshmallows. There's the marshmallows. <laughs> and the Oreo. It needs to be hotter, I think. Well, I think because it was a lot of frothing. And it's yellow. Whoa! Can I try? Yeah, let's it? try this one. For, yeah, mix it. Yeah. Can I have a? Can I have a? Well, we're gonna we're gonna all try this one. Um, let's get. Okay, go ahead. Put some in there. Put some in there. Do you pour it in there? It's good. I don't want a marshmallow. Don't want a marshmallow? There's quite a lot more milk. Try it. It's a lot of. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Tastes gummy. Really good. Thank <laughs> you.